With the two sections done on hardware and uh, DMP and calculator, in this section we'll cover the cybersecurity setup on a D400, how to start a radius, uh, get a radius server connected. Uh, we'll try to use a free radius, uh, but of course you can use a, a IT level radius kind of uh, setup if required. And we'll show you the interaction between the radius and the D400. Thank you. Okay, uh, to configure a free radius or any radius server with the D400, uh, most of the job will be done by your IT, so uh, the, D, the radius itself will be uh, set up by your IT. But in case that uh, you want to do it uh, for a testing purpose or a lab purpose, I mean, you can get hold of uh, any uh, free radius uh, uh, server. Uh, so let's say that you have the installed the free radius software. I've got a couple of webinars to show you how to install the free radius uh, uh, server. So if you want to refer to other YouTubes on uh, the free radius and how does it, uh, how to install it, uh, there is a cybersecurity uh, 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 YouTube that will show you how to install the free radius. So once the free radius is installed. Uh, what you will need to do is you will need to edit the files of the free radius. So I'm going to show you how to edit the files uh, of the free radius. Um, first, under your EA, under your client's conf table, you will need to put the IP address of your D400, and you would need to put the um, uh, 24 port and the secret is you use a secret word regardless of what's this this is the shared secret word which you will need during the d400 configuration and uh, a short name for the network okay um, in the dictionary where you define the ge dictionary you can define the ge roles uh, and what each role is and then in the users <coughs> you will you can define each uh, user name and uh, the password for that user, uh, the GED400 user role for each uh, user. Now, these roles need to be also repeated in the D400 configuration. Okay, uh, so just to show you that, so the way it works, if you are under version uh, 3.2 of the D400, just to know uh, your versions, so once I log into the D400, I would type in root, GE root. This is, I'm just logging in using serial login. And as you can see, my firmware release is version uh, 320. Uh, 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 so then I can type the command to run the uh, configuration. In this case, it will be the D400 CFG, okay. I will get a menu, all right? And in this menu, I want to configure authentication, right? And then we want to enable the uh, remote authentication. So we can enable the radius or disable the radius. So of course we want to enable the radius on it. And then it will ask us for the IP of the radius server. If you're running free radius on your computer, then that will be the IP address of your computer. If you're running, uh, if your IT have a free radius server running, you will get obviously the IP address of that uh, radius server from your uh, IT team. Okay. So in this case, uh, I'm, I'm, I will use my IP address, which is. Uh, 1.100. So now I've configured the IP address of my radius server. It's asked me for the secret word. Remember, uh, I said that during the configuration of the radius server, you will need to get your secret word. In this case, we're using test one two three. So I'm just going to use that test one two three. Right. Do you want to save the changes? Yes. All right. And my radius server has been configured in uh, in the uh, D400. Um, in the newer version of the D400, you will be able to put all the roles through this uh, textual interface. 
in the 3.2 and older versions, which is I'm working with 3.2, uh, you can only add the administrators to the list of users. So if I go into the administrator group user, number six, all right, I can list my users. I've got two users here. I've got the admin user, which is if I go under my users, right? So we have configured the admin user. The password of the admin user is on the server or the radius server remote to the D400. So I've added an admin user, administrator user, and I, I've, uh, I've uh, uh, given him a, an administrator role, so he's part of my administrator. So now I can log into the administrator user uh, as an administrator. So I can go five back, uh, seven, 17, okay, and log out. Okay, now that we have enabled the remote radius authentication, if we type supervise, so let's, let's put this a little bit to the side here so that you can see it. Okay, so we've got admin user. This is my uh, free radius server, it's running, okay. So if I type in here, supervisor, super one, two, three dollar, right? It goes to the, to the radius server. It doesn't authenticate locally. And it says username or password is incorrect. It wouldn't allow me to log in, okay? If, if uh, I put admin user, and I put the password that's on my radius server, which is admin pw. Okay, now it allows me access because it has authenticated with the server. So for version 3.2 and older, like I said, if you want to add other users, so we've got other users uh, listed in here. So we've got a supervisor user, an operator user, an observer user. To add those users, you would have to go into the make this menu bigger uh, we would have to go into the configurations okay and under user setup user management okay now we can add our users in this interface and to add a user is very simple you just add you put the username so let's say uh, uh, observer 2 right and then you can say observer um, second observer on webinar now the observer user of course password is set up in my uh, in my radius system right and you would have to list the observer user 2 so I would have to come in here and type observer 2 right and uh, basically put the same clear text password and mode if I want to, okay? And that's how you would add users to both sides, to the radius side and to the D400 side, okay? I'm not gonna take that out, I cancel in here. We've got all our users that are configured in the, in the um, server, in the radius server configured in the, um, D400 at this point, so we've got observer, user, supervisor, user, right? And at this point, we can uh, basically log out, come back in. Now I can start to use my other users after I configured them because I logged in with my administrator users, configured my other users like supervisor, operator, and observer. So now I can go super user and SUPPW, it allows me access as a supervisor, okay? So super user, I am, my role is supervisor. If I log out, so log out, and I want to log in back as an observer. I can type observer user and type OBSPW as well. 
server password. As you can see that I'm an observer user with an observer. So your role is defined um, in the D400. The D400 would authenticate only the password with the master in order to uh, sanitize or make sure that uh, the D400 and the master are using the same roles. Um, it makes sense to define these roles in the dictionary uh, of your of your uh, server and then uh, make sure that the users are assigned the same roles uh, locally on the D400. And that's basically what uh, um, how we can enable a radius server with remote authentication. Um, of course, uh, like I said in previous uh, uh, cybersecurity webinars, that this is a role-based access uh, kind of setup. And uh, you centralize the access to uh, your D400 with your uh, um, basically IT managing the users to, that are allowed to access the D400 or be dropped from the D400 um, access list. Okay. Um, Hopefully that have given you a good uh, understanding of uh, if you want to do a quick implementation of free radius or what you need to share with your, uh, with your IT team. So you would need to share your test one, two, three with your IT team, uh, which is or your secret word basically. And you want to make sure that you are aware of the IP address so that when you are on that the terminal access of the D400 configuration, the D400 CFG command, that you can uh, configure the terminal, but it's it's very easy to set up on uh, the D400 as, as you've seen. Thanks. In this section, we have shown you briefly how to set up a radius free server with the D400 and uh, how the D400 uh, is configured to communicate uh, and authenticate users based on an RBAC setup. Thanks.